Today I'm going to be making a dish that represents Alaska and I'm going to be making a salmon quiche. So please join me. Welcome to The Bold Encourager. I'm Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to this channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. It just allows for me to get these affordable and delicious meals out to more people. Today, I'm going to be making a salmon quiche to represent Alaska, and this is for the series 50 States Casserole Dishes. So it's kind of like a casserole dish because it's kind of more like a pie, but easy. I uh, just thought this would be a fun way of doing salmon because that's what Alaska is known for is salmon. Typically fresh salmon, but you know, salmon gets costly, especially right now. <laughs> so if you can pick yourself up some smoked salmon that's not too costly, because I do try to make this affordable for you to make, uh, go ahead and do that. I did pick up the Chicken of the Sea Wild Caught Alaskan Pink Salmon Canned. I will say be careful if you do the canned salmon because it might be boned so I did have to unbone some of this and there is one that is skinless and boneless but I picked up the wrong one so make your life easier so you don't pick up the boned traditional Alaskan salmon make sure it says skinless and boneless on the can if you do pick up canned salmon if you do smoked salmon is probably a lot easier just cut it up I did one can of the Alaskan salmon which is actually 14 uh, and three quarters of an ounce. You can definitely do less. I just wanted to make it more salmon forward since this is about Alaska. And this is says on the can, Alaskan pink salmon. I was trying to make it as Alaskan as I could without spending too much money. So I have my salmon here. I have three different cheeses already put in the uh, measuring cup. There's three quarters cheese here. And I am using mozzarella, cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, and Swiss cheese and I did a quarter of each but you can do just the same cheese I just decided I wanted to make it a little bit more vibrant with three different cheeses but to save money if you can only afford one cheese you could definitely still do this recipe so you're going to want to heat preheat your oven to 425 degrees to get it started and then I have a nine inch pie crust that was frozen uh, it makes your life easier just to get the pre made pie crust but if you want to be all crazy about it and make your own pie crust go ahead <laughs> uh, but this is a Pillsbury frozen pie crust that I have defrosted now I'm going to add my cheese to the bottom of the pan of the pie crust uh, so it's all spread on the bottom and then you're going to want to spread all that cheese all around so it's evenly spread on the bottom of the pie shell now you're going to want to take your milk and your eggs and everything and put it in a mixing bowl. So you're going to want to take a half a cup of heavy cream and put it in there in your mixing bowl. And then you're going to want to take another half cup of milk and put it in your mixing bowl. That makes it so it's not so rich with all heavy cream. Some people just use heavy cream in quiche, but I like to use half milk, half cream. So a half a cup of milk and half a cup of heavy cream. Now we're going to put four eggs in the mixing bowl with the cream and the milk. Now you can use a egg beater, whisker, whatever you want to whisk that together, whisking the eggs and the cre heavy cream and the milk together. Now you're gonna want to add a little bit of seasoning to your eggs and your milk and cream. So I'm gonna add chopped onion seasoning if you want to chop your own onions go ahead by all means i just use this because it's got the flavor it's a lot easier than cutting up some onions just trying to make your life easier you know um, but definitely uh, you could go crazy with the veggies or whatever you want to add to make more flavor in your quiche and i'm also going to add garlic and herb seasoning to mine too you can add whatever seasoning you want 
hey, you definitely can never have enough seasoning, but just don't add too much salt to where it's too salty. Uh, so pepper, I'm gonna add some black pepper just to make it a little more, have a little more spice, um, and a little bit of salt, a dash of salt, just so it's got a good flavor. You're gonna wanna whisk all the seasoning in your eggs and your milk and cream mixture so it takes all the flavors in. Once all of your mixture is thoroughly mixed, then you're gonna add your salmon to the bowl. And you can add green onion to this too. They were out of green onion at my grocery store. So I was like, oh man, because I wanted to add green onion. It's a lot easier to cut green onion, and I love green onion since I have them half Korean. Green onion on everything, right? I have cut up five asparagus very nicely and just cut them up like as if you diced them. And I'm just going to put the asparagus in here just so it has a little bit of some kind of veggie in there. <laughs> um, just to make it interesting really excited on how this is gonna taste i mean we got cheese we got cream we got milk um we got all the good stuff right and eggs and everything salmon asparagus how can you go wrong now when this mixture is thoroughly mixed and you've got all your salmon mixed in there and all the ingredients mixed in there really nicely now you're gonna pour it into your pie pan once it's all in there it's ready to go in the oven so it's super easy to make and believe it or not quiche is just so delicious it's kind of like a nice little treat for yourself and you didn't know it was going to be so easy to make but it is it's really easy to make. first we're going to put the quiche in the oven at 425 degrees for 15 minutes then we're going to turn it down to 350 degrees and cook it for another 35 to 38 minutes The quiche just came out of the oven about 10 to 15 minutes ago. You want it to sit and let it cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes. It's still going to be pretty warm and then you can start cutting yourself some slices. I'm going to go ahead and cut myself a slice and let you know what I think. So now I'm going to take a bite of the salmon quiche and tell you what I think. It's so delicious. It's got the creaminess from the cheeses and the heavy cream. It marries well with the seasoning and the asparagus with that little crunch. With the pie crust, just all of it marries well together. You get a sense of a very savory, flavorful dish. And I would call this another win. Uh, make yourself some salmon quiche. You won't be disappointed. It's another dish that I would give a high recommend and hey, it's my first time making this dish, but it won't be the last time because it was delicious and it was very easy to make. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out so much. Also, if you haven't followed me on social media, please follow me on social media. The links are down below. If you haven't hit that notification bell yet, please hit that notification bell and you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Well, I hope you have an amazing day and I hope you stay encouraged.